would like to encourage you with this, if you're feeling empty, it is not out of place. It is just human. It is a system, just like you feel hungry. Feeling hungry doesn't mean it's something that is out of place. You know by now that once you feel hungry, you have a responsibility. Same thing happens to your soul. It is a signal that your emptiness is telling you your soul needs attention. Your soul needs well, trusting God with your emptiness. The same way that hunger makes you irritable, unfocused and weak, the emptiness in your soul relates to that. The need for validation, the need for approval from people, the desperation and all kinds of weakness, it is a sign that your soul is weak. It is empty, it is hungry. And we do say playfully that an hungry man is an angry man. Same thing happens to your soul. An hungry soul is an angry soul. By the time your soul is not well fed, you will be irritable and this affects relationship. Whenever you feel so irritable towards your partner, whether in a dating relationship, marriage or your friends, it means somehow there is something your soul needs. Your soul needs attention. It is time for you to check mate and know how to feed your soul. Because most of the problems that people have in relationships is not because of the other person. It is because of the insufficiency of one person that leads to the fight inside the relationship and if you can deal with your emptiness and come to the table full it will help the other person compliment you instead of the person trying to feel you and the mistake people make is trying to look for someone to fill a void that is in them nobody can fill the void in you no marriage no relationship nothing in this life can fill the void that you feel inside of you your loneliness is not a void that anybody can fill. It is a void that you need to work on filling and only God can fill that void. The feeling of emptiness has led a lot of people to try different things to fill themselves just to numb that feeling. But I will tell you, it shows you that your soul needs attention. It is not for you to try and just take anything to numb the feeling, to stop feeling that way. It is for you to be happy that you are even feeling that way so that you can give your soul the attention it needs it is just as if you were living and you were never hungry that would pose as a problem so in life if you are not sufficiently feeding your soul there will be a void and that void is telling you something needs to be done interesting but with your emptiness jesus in matthew chapter 4 when he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights he was very hungry and the bible says the devil came to him and tempted him and told him turn these stones into bread and he said Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That was the devil coming to Jesus and telling him, numb this hunger, numb this feeling. That is what happens to us most of the time, whereby we feel empty and we are trying to numb the feeling. It's as if Jesus said, I will trust God with my emptiness instead of trying to numb this feeling. He was not trying to deny the fact that he was feeling hungry. But he said, I will not allow the feeling of hunger to decide for me. I will go with God. I will trust God with my hunger. And I will employ you to do the same thing with your soul. You can tell yourself, I will trust God with this emptiness. I'm feeling horny. I will trust God with my sexuality. I'm feeling weak. I will trust God with my weakness. Because scripture says, in my weakness, his strength is perfected. Because his grace is sufficient for me in this place. Wherever I find myself, I'm going to put this to God. I'm going to trust God with this. The scripture Jesus quoted was from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and I would like to read that to you. Yes, he humbled you by letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna, a food previously unknown to you and your ancestors. He did it to teach you that people do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. When I read this, I could hear literally when the devil was tempting Jesus, how Jesus was like, the father provided manna for the people of Israel in the wilderness. So I'm in the wilderness and I'm hungry and there's no food here. If the father could provide manna, then every word that proceeds from the father is what I need. I don't need to numb my hunger by allowing a temptation. I don't need to numb my feeling by allowing a temptation. I need to go with God because it is every word that proceeds from his mouth that makes everything possible. Some of the worst decisions you will make in your life will you be inspired from a place of emptiness, which is the need for validation, the desperation, and all those feelings of loneliness and boredom. If you make a decision from such places, like Esau, he made a decision off of a place of hunger and it led him to trade his treasure 
for cheap beans. If you make a decision from a place of emptiness, you are going to trade your treasure for something cheap. You need to pay attention to your soul and get to fill your emptiness by trusting God with that emptiness. And as I was thinking about this, I wrote this quote down. Temptation will always follow the path of desire to present to you a false sense of satisfaction in your emptiness. But you need to know that you are complete in Christ. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 2 verse 10, So you also are complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. You are complete in Christ. You don't need any other person to be complete. You don't need to go into sexual immorality to be complete. You just need to understand that when I feel empty, it means my soul needs attention and there's something that I need to do. I have a responsibility to feed my soul.